Hi there, I'm a product manager at Float, here to help you explore our reporting tool and learn how you can get real-time visibility into your company's spending. Float's new reporting tool gives you a snapshot of company spending so you can see month-over-month -month trends in spending, as well as spend reports that allow you to drill down into spending by merchant, GL code, cardholder, and more. From the spend snapshot, you can view a summary of your monthly spending by card currency. The default is Canadian. However, if you also have USD cards enabled, you can change to view that spending. You can view a sum summary by current month and by the month prior. Both time periods will show you a reference line in gray that compares against the prior period. As an example, I can view my March spending compared to February, but I can also go back and view my February spending compared to January. You'll see two sections on the reporting page. The first is Spending Trends, which is the top section with the line chart. This gives you a summary of your current spending and how that compares against your cumulative spending for the same date range in the prior month. You can see if you're above or below your spending this time last month. And so as of March 13th, you can see that I'm spending just slightly more than I was as of February 13th. Last month's trend line can also help you estimate where your spending will land this month. You can see that we're on track to end March having spent just around the same as we had on February because we've been tracking closely to that reference line for the month to date. And you can also drill down into every number that you see on the page. I'm able to click into each of these numbers. I can also click into the chart itself. And when we get there, I can also click into the rows below and go directly to a view of the cumulative transactions for the selected time period. So here I'm going to click into the cumulative transactions as of March 13th. And so I can see all of the transactions that I've made so far this month. Heading back to the reporting page, now we're going to focus on spend reports, which lets you drill down deeper into spending and see all the transactions that have been made so far this month. These spend reports are located on the bottom half of the page. Within these spend reports, we slice the data for you across all of the major data types in Float, and we show you the sum of your spending across those data types. We'll show you your top five at a glance, but you can also expand the list to see all of the data points. You'll see that merchants are the default, but you can also click to view the data sliced by category, which are self-reported by the merchant, sliced by users, which is anyone who's able to spend and float, sliced by team, which would be any teams that you've set up, uh, as well as sliced by GL codes, vendors, or tags. And these are your accounting data types that have been manually added or imported from your accounting software. So I'll click into vendors here. And again, you can see that for each of these spending reports, you can drill down into any number and see the transactions that inform that summary number. A pro tip for those of you who are responsible for reconciling transactions is you can close your books faster by clicking into the not assigned views to quickly find missing expense details. The not assigned views show you a list of all transactions that are missing a data point. So in this example, I'm clicking in to see all of the transactions that are missing a vendor. By clicking on a value in the reporting summary, I'm brought to that list of all transactions that are missing a vendor. And so from here, I can categorize each of these manually with a vendor. I can also do so by managing transaction rules and setting one up for the future. This helps my team gain efficiencies at month end and ensures accuracy in my financial statement. And once I've added a vendor to a transaction, the reporting page will update in real time and assign that send against the vendor. Back on the reporting page, if you have any feedback at all, you're able to send a note directly to me, the product manager of this feature, by clicking on, are we missing something? And if you just pop in here and add whatever you would like to see or any feedback, it'll reach me directly. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to learn about Float's new reporting feature. And thank you so much to all of our customers who helped our team build this feature.